It's the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. The same old story with the Utah Jazz. Nothing has changed. It's literally the same damn thing. This is an embarrassment. This is a massive embarrassment. You're down two to one in a series where there has been no Luka. Luka has not stepped foot on that court to play a single second of playoff basketball in this series. Yet, you guys are down two to one. I, I don't know what to say. I, I honestly don't know what to say. This right here is a joke. You lost game three in your building. It's literally the same thing. Finney Smith, 14 points. Bullock, 12 points. 20 points from Dinwiddie. 31 points from Brunson. These two right here have been terrorizing the Utah Jazz this entire series. 17 points from Kleber. 15 points from Burton's. 12 points from Green. Count it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 players in double digits. Y'all can't play defense. Worth the damn. The only person that can do that is Rudy. And he's getting thrown under the damn bus. Nobody can stay in front of their man. And Rudy is being put in a terrible situation defensively. I'm not going to talk about Rudy Gobert offensively. He's not a great offensive player. We know that. But defensively, Rudy is getting put in a terrible situation. Because no one else on this team can play defense consistently. This is a joke. This is an actual joke. Seven players. Seven players in double digits in this game. And you expect Rudy Gobert to deal with all of this. Like it's just his fault and his fault only. Bogdanovich, 8 of 12, 24 points. Rudy Gobert, 6 of 6, 15 points. Mike Conley, 6 of 14, 21 points. Donovan Mitchell, 10 of 21, 32 points. Clarkson, 5 of 9, 14 points. As a team, you shot well from the field. Now, you weren't great from the three-point line. But you shot well from the field. You did well offensively. But defensively, this team is an embarrassment. I want to sit back and say I feel bad for Donovan Mitchell. But I can't say that. Because he's part of the problem defensively. Dude, I love your game. You're one of my favorite players in the NBA right now. Love watching you. But you can't play defense worth a damn. You can't stay in front of anybody? You can't stay in front of anybody? Really, dude? Really? Conley? Anybody? Can y'all stay in front of these guys? Y'all are giving up 126 points to a Dallas Mavericks team that has no Luka. Because nobody can stay in front of their man. And Rudy Gobert gets put in an awful situation. Because there is nothing else he can do. He has to step up to help. And the minute he leaves the paint, it's an easy layup. Sad part is, the Mavericks at times, they know how easy it is to exploit these guys. Because they'll just send their guy to the corner and force Rudy to defend the corner. And once he defends the corner, the corner guess what? It's an easy drive to the paint. Easy layup right there. Because nobody can stay in front of their man. Then, when you have Rudy have to now 
come back into the paint to try and help so they don't give up an easy layup. His man's left wide open for a corner three. You guys are truly something special. You find a way to lose the same old-fashioned way. Nothing has changed. Dallas, if I'm you, I'm not playing Luka for the rest of this series. It seems you guys have this handled. Luka does not need to step on the court for game four. I'm keeping Luka back until the Jazz can prove that they can actually really take us down. Because game one was a situation with Dallas. They had to get adjusted to not playing with Luka. He got hurt in the last game of the season. So they had to adjust. That was a one-game adjustment period for them. Game two, they adjusted. Game three, they've shown they've adjusted. They can win this series without Luka. Um, with, yeah, they definitely they definitely can win this without Luka. I was about to say without Luka. Never mind, never mind. But um, I was about to say you don't even need Dinwiddie in some cases here. Because Brunson seems to be... Matter of fact, you don't need... You, don't, you really, really, honestly... Brunson's just doing such a well... He's been cooking them. I don't even know what else to say. He's been cooking them. He has been cooking them. He's been roasting them. He has been destroying them. I don't know what else to say. Honestly, looking at this, really... Whew, you don't really need Finney Smith to be as great as he's um, as, as great of a production as he's providing you. Because, again, I think Brunson can get it done by himself because they've shown they can't guard him. However, that that's great about the uh, depth of of the Mavericks because, you know, they've got quality guys here that apparently could just take over and do what they need to do without Luka. But, yeah, in all honesty, let me not joke around. In all honesty, you, you it would be great to get Luka back, but you guys really seem like you have this handled. I mean, these guys can't stay in front of you. They can't stay in front of you. And you can easily exploit Rudy Gobert because no one else can stay in front of their man you can easily win this series Dallas take your time take your time with Luka make sure he's 100% he doesn't need to come back into this series I'm being dead serious until the Jazz can prove that they can actually beat you and I'm talking beat you with the adjustment period now being placed. Because again, like I said, game one, they had to adjust to that because Luka got hurt the last game of the season. So until they can prove they can beat you, I don't see why you would want to put Luka in the game four. You've got this handled. I'm resting him for game four. I, I mean, it, it just seems like this Jazz team cannot match up with these dudes. They can't keep up. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. <sighs> I mean, I, I just don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. You only had two of your starters that has a positive plus minus. Donovan Mitchell is a plus four on the court. Bogdanovich was a plus four on the court. O'Neal minus 13. Gobert minus 16, Conley minus 16, and Gobert is in a situation where there's nothing he can do because these guys just cannot stay in front of their man. I mean, I, I just look at this Jazz team, and I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words, bro. I, I, I think they're losing this series, man. And once they lose this series, I'll discuss them, like legitimately discuss them. But this is, this is a joke right here. I mean, this is an absolute embarrassment. Credit to that Mavericks team for playing as tough as they've played in this series. They clearly look and believe that they can um, take this team down in in this series. Maybe in five games, depending on how they're playing. But Utah is such an embarrassment. They're such a disappointment. Oh, boy. If I was to recap the Utah Jazz so far in this series. But yeah, if we was to recap the Jazz, basically... If I was to recap them as an entire franchise, I'm not about to go to the last 10, 15 years. If I can recap the Utah Jazz as a franchise, the Utah Jazz are a consistent model of disappointment. That's all I got to say about that. With that being said, 
that is all I've got. Once again, congratulations to the Mavericks. Uh, we'll see what happens in Game 4, though. I, I, I have no faith in Utah. I don't see why anyone would have faith in Utah. But yeah, that's all I got. I'm out of here. Peace.